Hi everyone, that's Even GP here with you again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Good to be with you again, Evgenia. Hey. So we came across the research uh, by Sapia uh, for Guardian, where data subject success request is costing on average 5,350 euros. It kind of sounded very high for us, and we decided to actually have a talk around it. Uh, when we talk about clearance to our customers and clearance, it's our automated system for evidence management. We normally have three subjects to discuss. First of all, does it even matter to take care of these requests? Isn't it easier just to ignore them or just say that we don't have any data? The second is how much does it actually cost? Uh, and 5,350 euros really sounds a lot. And the third is when you use the systems like clearance, is there real ROI? JP, what do you think? Does it make sense to take care of this request and what will be uh, there if we don't do anything? Yeah, so there it's uh, obviously evolving quite a bit over the last uh, years where you know people recognize more and more that uh, the information that is being collected is, is there. I mean, GDPR is obviously a, a strong regulation on that. Um, and it's starting to find uh, companies that are not providing the information back to, to data subject. But more importantly, I think that organization in general uh, understand the importance of reputation and the importance to, to demonstrate to their customers how they value uh, the information that they collect uh, from them. So that's probably the biggest driver that we're seeing uh, today, um, organization rec recognizing the importance to properly handle uh, data subject information. So yes, it is important to respond to those requests. So, and what do you think, how much does it really cost? What are the components? Yeah, so the, the cost uh, can really be broken down in uh, in three parts. Uh, so first of all, it's the, the flow of the request. Uh, unlike databases for a website, for example, uh, CCTV information is very much spread uh, across uh, the whole organization. It's a very uh, local held information by nature. So depending on your organization, if you have, let's say, one office, obviously all of the information will be there. But if you have, let's say, multiple offices in a city, in a country or worldwide, you can see how the complexity of this information is being spread uh, across the um, your whole uh, organization. Uh, the second point is that uh, today, uh, very few organizations are really standardized on one uh, technology. So you may have, let's say, five, 10, uh, 20 different type of uh, CCTV systems uh, across your organization. So all of those systems typically are also very proprietary in nature in the, when, in the way that uh, they export files. So, you know, how do you uh, reconcile this information and have, let's say, one global view of this information? And then the third, um, you know, big uh, cost is that uh, if we take GDPR as an example, it's very specific around the fact that if you are, as a data subject, you're requesting the information, you cannot put the privacy of other people's at risk. So all of the other faces that you will have in the video or license plates needs to be hidden when you provide the video back to the to the data subject. So this is really creating, let's say, a lot of uh, issues. And I've been, let's say, in conversations with six, seven uh, different people trying to figure out, you know, how they're going to solve uh, this issue, and you can see the the, the accumulation of uh, human capital uh, to do that, does the importance to automate this process, and does the value of uh, having a solution such as uh, clearance. But enough, you know, me uh, talking. So, Evgeny, I mean, you know, from your perspective, you know, do you have, let's say, perhaps a, a good st story around uh, um, ROI, uh, around uh, the utilization of clearance? Yeah, I think we, we have one. Uh, one of the biggest customers of ours, uh, retails, uh, retail chain in US, they moved uh, fully to clearance to uh, to make the evidence management and they are not under GDPR. So they saved only on shipping cost of CDs, $50,000 by moving into clearance. And again, we're not talking about any labor cost. We're not talking about reduction cost because in here in Europe, reduction cost will be huge uh, amount of time, which people need to sit and redact the videos. It can be 
for six hours to actually redact the video of 30 seconds. So uh, again, the ROI is very obvious. We just need to make sure that we understand that we do need to provide uh, the evidence to data subjects, first of all. It does cost a lot. And there are tools like clearance which can help you automate your system. If you want to know more, please come to us, to me or GP. We will be happy to answer all of your questions and provide you more information. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like the video either on LinkedIn or on uh, YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching.